This is Math 151. Uh, this is problem number 26, page 107, uh, section 2.3. And we are looking for the limit of this function as t approaches 0. And if you'll notice, if I try and do this piece at a time, uh, I'm not going to get anywhere. So I think what I'm going to do is, is actually that simplify. I'm going to simplify this whole thing. I'm going to combine those fractions and see what I can do with that. So uh, first thing I notice that I have this 1 over t. And then over here, I could factor out a t. So I have 1 over t times t plus 1. And if I want to do the subtraction uh, with, these, with these fractions, I need the fractions to have a common denominator. So they both have a t in it already. This one needs a t plus 1. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to multiply this fraction by t plus 1 over t plus 1. And notice if I do that, I get 1 times t plus 1 is, is t plus 1 over t times t plus 1 minus, that's just a 1, over t times t plus 1. And now that they have a common denominator, now I can add them together. So um, I have t plus 1 minus that 1 over the just the denominator. And uh, 1 minus 1 is, is 0. So this is the same as t over t times t plus 1. And, but the t divides out. So that leaves me 1 over t plus 1. That kind of fell out nicely. So then now uh, what I can do is I know that this is equivalent to that. So this is going to be the same as finding uh, the limit as t approaches 0 of 1 over t plus 1. Now I'll just do some direct instruct, uh, direct, <laughs> direct substitution. Uh, plug that 0 right in there. 1 over, sorry, that's very sloppy. 1 over 0 plus 1, which is 1 over 1, which is 1. You can graph it and, uh, and see that that is the, that is the limit.